Cause there is power in the name of Jesus. Power, cause there is power in the name of Jesus. To break, to break every chain, break every chain. I have the chains, I have the chains falling. Falling right now, I have the chains. Somebody shall break chain. Sing it with me this morning. Break. Come on. Chain. Sing it. Break. Chain. Break. Chain. Break. 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 You got to break. You got to break. To break. To break every chain. Break every chain. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ on this morning, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your wonderful people here. Minister to them. Encourage them. Father, let the word of God come alive to them. David said, Thy word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. David said, How shall a young man keep his way clean? By taking heed according to the word of God. Psalms 119 verse 130 says, The entrance of your words, it give light. It gives understanding to the simple. Impart wisdom, knowledge, faith, understanding, and victory from your word in the lives of your people. Feed them with fresh manna from heaven. Give them meat this morning. Satisfy the cry of their hearts. Satisfy the longing in their soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray somebody say amen. Oh, glory to God. So as we continue in our series on this morning, Your Trouble Has God's Attention, this is what I want to declare over your life. Never stop praying, never give up. Never stop praying, never give up. A man by the name of Joseph, the Holy Spirit had healed his shoulders, gave him a, a serious miracle. And one of the things that stood out to me that he said when Jeffrey was interviewing him, I read over his testimony and it really ministered to me. He said his mom would always tell him, never stop praying, never give up. Those words really leaped out so strong at me. I thought, you know what? I'm going to take that and use it as a title on this message that the Holy Spirit gave me. Never stop praying, never give up. I'm using Joseph's words this morning. Joseph, we love you, and I'm so happy God gave you a great miracle and heal your right shoulder. And I want to say this to God's people. Never stop praying, never give up. This brings us into the book of Luke chapter 18, beginning at verse 1. And Jesus spoke a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. The whole purpose of what Jesus is about to say here is to teach you and I that we should always be willing to pray and never stop praying and never stop praying and never give up. We should pray. Don't give up. Do not give up. Don't throw the towel in. The whole Holy Ghost is trying to trying to deliver somebody. So God, Joseph, Joseph had, had had to live with his mom and his his young son. He Joseph was almost homeless for a while. He was from pillar to post here and there because he couldn't work because his his arm was messed up and it you know messed with his finances. But Joseph said in his testimony that he just he kept on believing God. He kept on applying. For, for a house. He, he just refused to give up. And I just love I just love his attitude of being so aggressive in his faith. And Joseph testified and said, three hours after God healed his shoulders, he got an email from the military saying, you have been approved. <laughs> Glory to God. Three hours after the man got healed, he got an email from the military saying you have been approved for the house and all he had to do is fill out the paperwork and like a month later he was in a house I mean God stepped into this man's life and what Joseph was praying about for over a year 
Within three hours, the Holy Ghost turned that thing around. Heal his right, the torn tendons in his shoulder. The Holy Ghost healed that. That's a big miracle. This man couldn't couldn't really work properly because because of that situation. And the doctors told him he'll pretty much never he'll never be able to do what he used to do before. And God healed him, and within three hours, turned the man's situation around and got him in a home. Oh, somebody help me bless God this morning. Somebody help me give God a praise. We cannot wait for that book to be published because that testimony is going to be a chapter in one in the book. We share with all the different people, miracle of the, the healing miracles in this book. That testimony is going to be in that book. Glory to God. So Jesus said, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. I want you to pay close attention to this. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. I agree with R. W. Schambach. There's always a woman. <laughs> Boy, when you hear a woman inside these stories, you know something getting ready to happen. Because these ladies know how to hang on to God until the answer comes. Now, you men know how to do it, too, but you understand what I'm saying. I'm giving the women some credit here. Lord have mercy. My mama was aggressive in her faith. She refused to let the devil have this this young man called Pastor Sean. She said, no devil, you ain't gonna have him. I'm gonna hang on to Jesus and tell this boy, get saved and full of the Holy Ghost and surrender to Jesus. Thank God for my mom and dad. And so Jesus said, this woman came to this unjust judge and said, avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while he would not because he was unjust. He was wicked. He didn't care about God nor people. So he, he could care less about anybody. I love, I, but I love the end of this verse. But afterward, <laughs> afterward, he said within himself, though I fear not God nor regard man, yet because this, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge. I'm off to answer this woman's prayer. Let a request less by her continual coming. She wear me out. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This 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 unjust judge said I got to do something. I, I can't. This woman's coming to me every day at ten o'clock for the last six months. I, I'm I'm worn out. My God. Uh, the unjust judge said, "I'm a, I'm a, this woman's aggressive. She she don't know what no means. She don't know she don't know what it means when I despise someone and don't want to do it." This unjust judge said, "You know what? This woman means business, man. I'm gonna have to grant her request." And listen to Jesus' reaction in verse six. And the Lord said, "Hear what the unjust judge said. Did you hear what this wicked unjust judge, a man who don't care about nobody?" And then Jesus goes on, and shall not God, glory to God, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Which means that God may wait a while before he answer your prayer. But then verse Eight, Jesus said, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily when the time comes for God to deliver you. He'll do it for you like he did for the children of Israel. They were in Egyptian bondage for 400 years. But when God got ready to bring them out, God knocked the Red Sea in half, split the thing wide open, and allowed the children of Israel to cross over on dry ground. When God gets ready to bring you out, he will do it in a hurry. Are you listening to me? I say when God gets ready to bring you out, he will do it in a hurry. God will do it in a hurry when he gets ready to bring you out, to deliver you, to set you free, to answer that prayer. God will do it overnight when he gets ready. Glory to God. Jesus said, I tell you, he will avenge them speedily, quickly. Bam, bam, bam. Make it happen fast. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Jesus is saying, 
I'm coming again. But when I come, am I going to find my church with the kind of faith that this widow woman had, this woman who refused to give up, this woman refused to take no for an answer. She hung in there. She knocked and knocked and knocked and knocked and asked and asked and asked until that judge moved and answer her prayer. Jesus is saying, this is the kind of faith I want my church to have, a faith that refuses to give up. There's that false teaching that used to teach folks and say, oh, if you ask more than once it's a sign of unbelief well that's not what the bible teaches that's not what jesus teaches even jesus himself laid hands on a blind man and said what do you see the blind man said i see men as trees jesus had to lay hands on him again i dare you to call him an unbeliever nobody had more faith than jesus and jesus is teaching you to ask over and over and over again is not a sign of unbelief it's the opposite it's a sign of faith it's a sign of determination it's the sign of someone who refused to take no for an answer and jesus is using this woman as an example to tell you never stop praying never give up never stop praying never give up men ought always to pray and not to faint my God my God he cares about you God's talking to you he's telling you pray do not give up pray pray some more refuse to give up and me and Pastor Amy cover you this morning we pray for you this morning, let your fire fall. We pray for you this morning that you will not give up, that you will not throw the towel in. I rebuke that spirit of discouragement off of you. I rebuke the spirit of discouragement off of you. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, God says, Fear thou not, for I am with you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. All those who were angry against you are going to be ashamed and confounded. God said you're going to look for them and you ain't, going to be, you ain't even going to be able to find them. God is going to fight for you. Let your fire fall. Let your winds blow, Lord. Fill this place and have your way. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Come on. Let your winds blow, Lord. Feel this place and have your way. Tell them. Have your way. Come on. Have your way. Have your way. And have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Listen, we want to give you an opportunity on this morning to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to do so. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is PayPal dot me forward slash sean pinder ministries you can also text to give all you have to do is text the letters spm to the number 45888 and the link will automatically be sent to you you can also give through the ministry zell account the ministry zell email address is info at seanpinder.net you can also give through the ministry cash app account the ministry cash app address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. And we are asking our social media family. Help us reach a million people a month with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We need every single one of you to share this video, share this broadcast with at least five people that you know need a word of encouragement. Just send it. Even if you think they don't need encouragement, just send it to them. And you'll be amazed at what the Holy Ghost will do in their lives. You know how many people have gotten saved 
gotten healed, delivered and set free because somebody was willing to share this broadcast with him. It's not by power. It's not by might. But it is by my spirit, says the Lord. You will be amazed at what God will do when you share this video. And never forget, me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you. And we will see you on tomorrow morning on another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. Bye-bye.